Now the details here at 530 with the capture of escaped inmate Danello Calvacante. Residents in Chester County can hopefully feel a bit more settled tonight. People who live near the area where Calvacante was hiding, they've been on edge, changing their routines and trying to secure their belongings. Calvacante was captured around 815 this morning in South Coventry Township after an extensive two week search. A federal aircraft picked up a heat signal several hours earlier. That's when a ground crew then began to move in and surround him. Calvacante tried to escape, but a canine named Yoda was able to subdue him, allowing police to take him back into custody. Action News reporter Taronda Thomas, live for us now in West Vincent Township in Taronda. You spoke with residents there who are breathing a sigh of relief. Oh, they absolutely are, Shari. News that Cavalcante has been captured is just what residents have been waiting to hear. They've spent weeks watching the search while living in the search area. That was freaky. Yeah, really freaky. A search perimeter that stretched for miles. That's pretty much where he probably was. Then led right up to Rob and Sarah Black's driveway. They suspected that he'd be coming this way because they were trying to search on the other side and kind of push him this way. Their East Net Meal Township home, frighteningly close to the area where the escaped murderer hid out. They found his shoes at our neighbor's house up there. Um, the field right and the there. field. Yeah, so he they think he was in the creek over there, you know, I mean, hanging out on Sunday night. The worry was real in West Vincent Township too. Everybody's on edge reporting everything that they hear from leaves rustling to dogs barking, which is a normal occurrence, but we don't know. Residents told to shelter in place and lock their doors as police searched every car that came through. Fear made some reluctant to do things as simple as gardening and walking. I walk over here every day and um, my wife walks every day, but we haven't been walking. <laughs> Instead, glued to live streams of the search. ABC live feed. Relieved to hear the news of Cavalcante's capture. Huge sigh of relief. Residents who watched police search for two weeks. Sunday morning, uh, Wawa was surrounded with uh, SWAT teams. Now praising the search team for finding the fugitive. I give shout out to the police for being able to you know, stay with it, you know, because it's a struggle. It means Black can now safely walk Horseshoe Trail. A trail she thinks that Cavalcante may have used. Cavalcante was probably up where we walk every day. Relieved that the convict has been captured. Happy that it's over. We weren't sure how it was going to end up. <sighs> Local officials know this was a stressful time for residents, so they're holding town hall meetings to talk about it. Those meetings will be on Monday and Wednesday night. Among the topics they will discuss, security enhancements at the Chester County Prison. They'll also talk about emergency forms of communications that they use with residents. In West Vincent Township, Toronto Thomas, Channel 6 Action News. Toronto, thank you.